The Lamazoko Linear Micra is a new espresso machine that, with its small footprint, is making waves. Now, Dan from homebarista.com has lent me his, and I've been putting it to the test for the past week. And now, well, now Dan is going to show me how to use it properly. Over to you, Dan. One of the most common questions that come up in the forum is, what espresso machine should I buy? La Marzocco has been among the list that people consider, but one of the problems it had is, is that with its commercial heritage, it wasn't necessarily very home friendly. So here we have in front of us now a new offering from La Marzocco, the La Marzocco Linea Micro. You can really tell by its size that it's designed for the home environment. You might be fooled though to think it's just about scale. In fact, there's been several tweaks to it to make it more friendly for the home environment. For example, it heats in just five minutes. You've lent me this for about a week and I have been pulling shots on this. So I have a little bit of experience of how this works. We're gonna go ahead and make some espresso and show you what it looks like. There's no way we can sit here this long and not have a coffee. Here we have a scale, of course, our, our portafilter basket, tamper, uh, what helps us make less of a mess. We're gonna demonstrate that right now. So we're gonna weigh out uh, 17 grams of coffee. And because it's really uh, kind of dry outside, we're actually gonna spritz it. So that makes less static as it grounds out. There we are. And you see, that's the end result. And if you want to, we give this a little stir and there we go. And maybe just, I'm gonna give that a little of a manual retouch because if there's a little bit of extra coffee here than there is there, of course the water's gonna flow mm -hmm. where there's less resistance. And that ultimately resu results in an espresso, which has a different extraction amount for different parts. Now the pressure you just applied there, I'm putting my entire body weight on that temp, lifting my feet off the ground and like, <laughs> to make sure it's nice and compact. No, no, no. Not that's necessary? Right. Not at all, not at all. I mean, you can do that if you want. I mean, there's no harm in it, right? But the idea is, is that the purpose of the tamp isn't really to compress. It's really to make the initial wetting of the puck go across evenly. Okay, so let's go ahead and give that a try. Okay. I'm doing this from over here, but bah. you see how the color is changing? Yep, 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 yep. And so, and also the viscosity, the viscosity changes because as it, as it, I went just a little long, that's fine. And so here we go. And honestly, that, that it looks a pretty poor. That was, yeah, that's pretty attractive. So we can go ahead and use that. Let's give it a taste. Still kind of hot. Give that a shot. Oh, that's good. There we go. That's good. This is just a quick side note to talk about the portafilter that comes with the Linea Micro. It's a little bit different. I want to show you what I mean by this. So you'll see that it is comes with a bottomless portafilter and it's got a little bit of an, an unusual shape to it. And that's why La Marzogo provides these two snap-on uh, accessories that allow you to put on a single portafilter bottom or you could take and use a double as well. And this allows you to choose which way you want to go. So if you're doing a split shot, you use that one. If you want to do a single, you do that one. Or if you want bottomless. The controversy is, is that this is made out of plastic. And with a lot of commercial equipment, first thing people say is no plastics anywhere. That doesn't absolutely require it. Because that's kind of a mark of, of lower grade espresso mm -hmm. equipment, right? Well, La Marzocco's answer to that is two things. First, they say, well, this is medical grade plastic. I'll take their word for it. I don't know what that really uh, means, but I'll take their word for it. But the reason they did this is because they wanted to have a data, a way of heating the equipment faster. In fact, if you'll notice, they say five minutes to heat this up, right? Has that been your experience? Five minutes, that is right. Yeah, oh, it's, wow. it's, and it's so good because the machine I've been using prior to that is 20, 25 minutes. Mm. You turn this guy on, five minutes later, the light is on, ready to pour. Another point that has come up in the forum several times is about the steam wand arm. This this little guy here? That little guy yeah. there, right. And it doesn't, it is shorter than the typical La Marzocco, especially like if you have their commercial ones, it's literally like 10 inches. It's a, it's a big boy, right? This one by design is scaled so you can easily purge 
into the corner. This is the thing I didn't know. I knew how short it was, but then I would purge it like out to the side like that. Okay. And then pss, it's just steam everywhere. So then I'd be like trying to cover it up with towels and whatnot. But then you showed me that you can just, it will literally just go down like that and then purge into the drip tray. Right. That's to purge because some of that. That purging that condensate is important because mm -hmm. otherwise you're adding hot water to your milk. So you need to do that beforehand. This one is really optimized for a 12 ounce pitcher, I would argue. And this is the one that comes with the machine. It's got a logo on it. Very nice. You can use a larger picture than this one because it has so much and uh, so much force. Well, then actually this pitcher I have used with that with that one it does have some unique features that i really like and that is is that it's a no burn steam wand what that means is the steam wand doesn't get hot what's neat about that is that it means you get less loss of heat and now we're going to go ahead and do a cappuccino and maybe you can show us your latte art skills oh yes um i will <laughs> delegate the latte art <laughs> to the to the expert so i have been using this for about a week and so far, I don't know that I've made a bad cup of coffee, which is saying something because it seems quite, quite forgiving. Okay, now you ready for my latte art? Yes, I'm ready. The I, world, the world awaits. I do not think the world is ready for my latte art. Okay, so my approach is to dump it straight in the middle, like so, and then slowly. How did I do, Dan? Well, you see, the thing is, is that. Let's ignore the latte art question for Please. just a second. You see, Please. so I mean, in fact, you know, I, I've never, even though I've tried hundreds of times, I've never really gotten, you know, impressively uh, skilled at latte art. But here's the important point is, is you look at that and I can see it's got a really nice sheen across the top, mm -hmm. which says you've got some good microphone in there. And of course, most importantly, what's the taste? So let's go ahead and I'll let you go first. And what you're looking for is that does it have a nice blend of flavor of coffee and milk and sweetness i mean my compliments to the barista this is fantastic <laughs> yeah somehow i suspect that was really true <laughs> yeah that's really good the biggest problem with having these machines in my life is now when i go to a regular coffee shop sometimes it's good but i'm a bit more discerning now and it's like well i do better at home than that i it's so. ironic you mentioned that because i've heard People have told me more than once who've come to visit and I've served them. They would say, you've ruined me. You've ruined coffee. Because now- you ruined I, coffee for me. Because now I know what really good coffee tastes like. There's been a lot of professionals who have already looked at the micro. What I wanted to really focus on is not just the professional opinion, but the newbie impression. I'm offended that I am not the professional opinion. I have <laughs> one week of experience with this. What is your first impressions and what do you, what do you like? What do you dislike? It's so small mm. and it just fits into a little nook on your countertop. The second thing that's a very immediate first impression is when you turn it on five minutes later, steam's ready. It's ready to brew. By the time I brown my beans, it's ready to go. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so that's been very nice. This looks, at least from the outside appearance, is very much like a Linea Mini, yeah, but it's been scaled down. But they don't have the same designs. Uh, they have a lot of innovations here that have been brought forward. For example, it has a very, very long heat exchanger loop, which pre-warms the water coming into it. That's part of the reason it's able to brew more quickly. You can just pull this off and then you just pour the water straight into that so that's really easy to do and then when you put this back it's just got this satisfying click as it goes in because there's a magnets on the bottom here so you know that it's pushed back in properly the biggest difference that i found in brewing is that the gap between this and the group head and the drip tray is not very big mm. in fact you say you like to use a a scale right that's right so i'll put a scale on there and then even if i take one of my espresso Cups. Now this is a bottomless portafilter, and this is kind of your. Now this is a taller than normal espresso cup, um, but even so, uh, you use that normally. Yeah, that's fine. But if you if you add in any of the spouts, okay. Right. Now. So now if I just go to slide this in, it doesn't go. I actually have to tilt tilt the glass, and that's just with this. Well, in all fairness, grab me a, a standard Ely cup, that glass one over there, and we'll see if there's a difference here. 
So you can see there, this is a more uh, standard Denitas. That one you have is, is a little bit larger. Here, you're still clear, but I can see your point. It's, it's clearing by less than a quarter of an inch. With this, you're really given a professional level experience, but one that also doesn't punish beginners. Except, yeah, that's, that's a very good, good way to put it. It's so easy to use and seems very forgiving and the output really good.